Which means, like, it's gonna take a lot of- Oh my god, Ken, no. Ken, please go do anything else. Laura's berserk. Was she berserk earlier? I don't think she was. Uh, yeah, I might have to reload again immediately. I don't have control of Laura this time. And Ken's are too far away. Bye, Laura. Laura's dead. <laughs> Maybe you shouldn't have gone berserk. Stupid. Oh my gosh. So many attacks on this insane difficulty playthrough have just been like, reload, try something else, reload, try something else. Samantha, cook meat soup while we wait. Samantha immediately went berserk and started punching a freaking <laughs> oven thing. Can you put a roof on a roof? Um, I don't think it allows that. Hang on a second. Under another roof. No, it doesn't let you. Uh, I'm worried. I'm very worried because, like, even if they get through this, they're they're apparently starving, and I did not realize that was an issue. So they got to get through this alive and have enough energy for Samantha to cook for them. And if that works, uh, wait, hold on. Simon's currently on handling. Where's the cooking skill? Simon, Vivian, and Laura are all decent. Okay. We're gonna crank Simon's cooking up. Quick save, just for stupid. Alright, so they're gonna eat through the, the, the walls of the house. Our hope is that we kill a lot of them while they do that. And they will also destroy other things, which is super bad. Wait, how is she getting hit from back here? Are they hitting through the ceiling? Dude, they're all targeting Laura. She's got the best weapon. It's so laggy right now. I'm trying to stare at like the pixels and see whose health is dropping and move them. Oh my god. We're down to 46 attackers, Chad. Ah, oh, Vivi oh, the wall next to Vivian just dissolved. Holy crap. I've got the cold. Yo, I don't care if you have the cold. We got bugs. Are you kidding me with I have the cold? Okay, Samantha's Berserk. Uh, Ken, heal yourself. Simon, heal yourself. Laura's going on a food bitch. Laura, what are you going to eat? Vivian's equipping pants. Nuts.
dropping the booty. Honestly, Simon. Sit down. Cook food. Oh shit, that's good. Can we make veggie soup out of green? Can we cook anything? Oh, nice. so cool. But what is Simon doing right now? Okay. I if I have someone just focused only on cooking, we can turn insect meat into meat soup. I don't know if I have anything I can prepare for a vegetarian right now. Like, she will die before she eats meat. We can make three loaves of bread. We have 30 grain. 20 grain. Some, something just used up some of the grain. And Simon doesn't even have the skill to make it, so Samantha's gonna have to make her own in a minute. Okay, there's two bits of meat and stuff there. Alright, Samantha... Wait, not enough resources to cook bread. What? We have 21 grain. How is that not enough? Oh, we don't have enough vegetable fat and stuff? We can make vegetable oil. Vivian, make vegetable oil. She's limping out there covered in bug acid. Do you have any syrup? No, it's not growing because of winter. Shooting star, don't care right now. Laura, whatever it is, heal yourself. Five oils? Wait, how do we not have enough stuff in... The grain's gone. I have no idea what we use the grain on. Wait, was grain used to make the oil? It was. We used the grain to make the oil, but we needed grain and oil. So we were in a you're screwed situation. Um... Hmm... Grain porridge, need grain. Veggie soup, need veggies. Meat soup, we can do that. Emergency rations, we need an emergency ration. Um... This is, this is a weird cop-out. Okay, so you can take two cooked meals, four synthetic cloth, and make an emergency ration which lasts a long time. However, I think once the if the cooked meals are like meat and it becomes an emergency ration, I think it's no longer classified as meat. So it might it might let me save her, but she would have to go 24 more hours without eating. I don't know how long it's been since she last ate currently. Where's cooking? All right, Simon is researching that. Laura, is, when she's done healing. Vivian, stop waiting on treatment. Samantha, stop waiting on treatment. Ken, heal yourself. Wait, Samantha getting... Oh, that's so gross. Okay, fine, if it means survival. She's going to get five bottles of vegetable oil for dinner. She'd rather eat that than meat stew. Oh my god, just the thought of that. Ah, Better than bug oil? I mean, honestly, I think that means that... If she'll eat animal fat from a bug? 
we might have... I don't know. I don't... It, it says this, you have a chance of getting poisoned when you eat this. I don't know if animal fat, if she'll eat that. Hold on, let me look at... She will eat oils and fats extracted from plant and animal sources. I don't know. I don't know. Simon, you gotta heal yourself. This, uh, everyone's gotta take care of this themselves. Vivian's on a food binge. Vivian? Can, can you, can you, can you take her in a fight? Why, where's the option to fight? Yo, it's not letting me. Like, you could sit in her lap, which is weird, but that's it. Uh, how are we doing on, like, bandages and stuff? We're out of bandages, but we still got tons of first aid kits. On the weird bright side, all the damage that hasn't been repaired for our base is inside the base, not on the outer wall. So it will not impair our ability to fight this. Which is right over there. And I believe, nope. Are there, is it still a solar flare? The solar flare's still going. Yo, it's, how long is the solar gonna be, oh my God, there's one broken wall in the back. Crap, I did not realize. All right, what if Ken comes out here? We might, we might have to reload because of that. Simon is full health, but down somehow? He got knocked unconscious. I don't know. I did not realize there was a hole in the back fence. Um, let's go here. She doesn't have to be the one to know the origin of the fat. Yeah, I just... Yeah, yeah, here's some food. Is it... Is it vegan? Yeah, yeah. Whatever you just said, yes. Oh god, she has to run all the way out here to get lumber. We don't have any in the base right now. I have to reload further back. I have to reload further back. Alright, Samantha. Repair that. Can heal yourself. And is this... Uh, I want to make sure that Laura is going to help cook. Yeah, I haven't done that yet. Was Laura the one I said was going to help cook? I mean, yeah, that's fine. Simon, sad wander. Not the time, Simon. Okay, the hole in the fence is repaired. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that one little thing. That one little thing. Does it take much? How's the temperature? Because there's giant holes in the wall. How's the roof? The roof's intact. It really didn't feel like the roof was intact with all the shots that were raining down on us at some of those points. Samantha, heal yourself. Laura, heal yourself. Simon, heal yourself. Vivian fainted. So they they all just have tons of acid burns. Me tired, even might be messing in the stream. Good night, Rain. Good night, Tiger. Have a good one, buddy. All right, there's the animal attack. Oh, they're a lot closer this time. 
Solar flare still going. And Vivian just died. Does it say what she died of? It said she starved. My two-hour nap earlier turned into a five-hour nap. Oh, that's gonna make sleeping tonight weird. All right, Laura, cook meat soup right now. <laughs> Vivian. Uh, okay, I guess we already have the vegetable stuff. Samantha, heal yourself. Ken, heal yourself. Laura, keep cooking. <laughs> Vivian, stop waiting for treatment. Just deal with the burns for a day. Vivian, getting soup to eat. Good. Good, 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 good. Eat up, soldier. Um, nom, 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 nom. Who's a good tailor? You are. Yes, you are. Please don't quit. Oh, God, there's still a hole in the back fence. Uh, Samantha... Darling, please. Oh my god, she's limping. That's going to slow this down. Oh wait, there was wood right there this time. Why'd you go over there earlier? She's getting the vegetable oil to eat because she's a freak. Laura can heal herself, and Simon can heal himself. Falling spaceship debris. Might be able to scavenge that if we live long enough. It's not too far. Vivian is berserk and punching a shelf. Actually, it says can't reach shelf. So she wants to punch the shelf. Like she's so mad she'll punch a shelf, and now she's getting more mad that she can't reach the shelf. <laughs> this is just standard short people. Like they're just they're just angry because they're closer to hell. <laughs> and here it goes. What happens during attack of all NPCs are on balloons? I've never had that situation. I'm not sure. Where is Simon? What? This is like when you f like a, a car is about to run you over and you fall down and it drives over you, but you're in between the wheels. And it doesn't kill you? Ken's getting attacked by a ton of the, the big ones. Trying to bait them into the flamethrower. The solar flare just ended! We've got power! Nice. Oh my god, yes. Uh, 
Music night. Now is not the time for this. For the first time ever, I'm going to deny your happiness. Now is not the time. Simon just uh, Simon is the one who just asked for music night. He literally said, can we play music? I said no, and he goes, oh. And then he just died. <sighs> He's like, I really wanted music. And then I guess I'll just die. Oh my gosh. All right. Reload number four. This suck. We're taking so much damage from that flyer thing and the food situation. Laura, cook meat soup. Let me see. Laura, we're, we're lowering your healing priority to post cooking. You just, you, you cook. That's what you do right now. Samantha's working on the fence. For some reason, she has to go all the way up to the trees again. Wait. Already? That was really fast. Alright. Can I bait them all over here and then tell Simon to go eat? Oh, the fence isn't fixed yet. For God's sake. Didn't I reload this one? Oh my gosh, dude. I, 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 it's crazy because I have another insane game. I'm doing a single player and I have not had nearly this much difficulty. Gotta give it to the game, there's something different between loads each time. Yep. I'm not blaming chat for his problems. I don't believe I did. I don't believe I blame chat for my problems. Wait. Yeah, I don't want anyone to just wait on treatment right now. Why are they all wanting to butcher the hum- are they in the way of, like, rebuilding the wall? I'm not sure why they're all, like, prioritizing butchering the humming flies. Vivian playing the hand- <laughs> <laughs> She's like covered in acid burns. Woo! Samantha drinking. Okay, hold on. Simon. Eat meat soup. I have never before manually told someone to eat in this game. This is a first. If you have a moment logging to Mistlock, there's eight golden shards that look like they're trying to summon a demon. Oh, it might be the, the those glowing bright ones that always like dance in unison in different places. Are we doing on medical stuff? 11, okay, medical stuff's going, uh, Vivian's starting to make rebank the bandages we used up, that's good. Looks like it was behind the time, yeah, yeah, they, they occasionally are in Mistlock and Lion's Arch and they're just dancing around. Here's the hope, chat. Here's the hope. 
Everyone is still covered in acid burns and stuff. What we're hoping is that everyone ate and that they don't starve to death while we recover from this attack. That is the freaking hope. Two people just took wounds from the barbs. The lasers just came back on. Okay, I'm gonna take I'm gonna take a risk here. I'm gonna tell everyone that they can stand down, <laughs> which may not be true. Um, and let's see what happens. There's two enemies remaining. Where? There's one there and one right there. Uh, no, not dan no dance party. No dance party. Um, rocket launcher. Okay, attack survived. Butcher the brood mothers. Was there only four that time? Oh no, there's some more. There's seven of them in a pile right there. Quick save. <laughs> So, okay, I think Simon was walking in here with a thing of food to feed Vivian. And Vivian stood was trying to stand up, but they were blocking the bed pathway because there's like only one space there. So Vivian kept trying to stand up and lay down. He kept trying to feed her and then canceled the action. And it was making like a weird sound effect as it like just jarred. <laughs> it's weird. Um, equipment. Let's see. Swap out the sneakers. Don't touch the beakers. I just learned the last time we played this how to dismantle items. I didn't even know that was a thing in the game, and I'm trying to put that knowledge to use. Uh, let's put that emergency ration stuff up here. There's so much micro in this game. It's weird, because sometimes when you get everything set up, you literally just stare at it, and it just plays itself for minutes on end. And then I'm wishing I could do more. But then other times like this, I'm just like, all hands on deck! Activate every brain cell! <laughs> you know, then you get those. We need both brain cells for this one. Wait, Laura just said getting veggies for... Wait, what? What on earth was she grabbing? Wait, there's a veggie soup in stock. Where did you get veggies? Did something grow during winter? I'm shook. Again, we're hoping that... Uh, who's uh, the vegetarian? Samantha? She's hungry, not starving. I'm hoping she lives. We're still trying to repair the walls of our home from two attacks ago. Don't ask questions. Where'd the meat come from? You don't want to know. In that regard, the desert map was easier. Because although there was like extreme heat waves, there was never snow. So like it got cold, it got hot, but the crops pretty much were growing to some degree year round. Your flamethrowers damage your own walls, and your people if you uh, if you don't space them. 
You see how there's a space here? It shows what it's going to hit. And they do have friendly fire, yes. I'm actually not sure if the rocket launcher has friendly fire, as weird as that sounds. I think it might, but it's like really, really, really small. Like just a couple of points of damage. As crazy as that is. I think our home might be solid again. Samantha doing work. 555 hungry pests. Okay, so a hungry pest, they eat crops, but they won't attack you unless you attack them. So what'll happen is we'll just ignore them and they will lag everything. <laughs> and if they get close enough to the walls, the auto guns will open fire. Man, not having the auto the the electronic weapons for like three attacks was so awful. Uh, oh, there they go. Look at them swarm. I think they'll cut. Oh, you know. Oh, are they coming in here to eat these? They might be coming in here to try to eat the meat from the previous attacks. Go, laser pointers, go. Samantha. Oh, God. <laughs> What's going on out there? Meat? I mean, it's a starving bug. They're two meat each. A broodmother is 50. So probably not going to be butchering the starving bugs, but... Yeah. I'm just hoping they don't start eating through the wall, because they can. They, they sometimes do that. See so yeah, how there was a bunch of little damage numbers there? I think the rocket might have damaged the wall a little bit there. But not even enough that it triggered a repair command. I'm so glad I've got some laser turrets. Like, you can have, like, some, you know, Ken up here with a sniper rifle, but it just adds so much time to it. And, and uh... Also, you know, that person is, like, slowly getting tired and hungry the whole time they're up there. Simon drinking coffee inside while this is going on out here. Do we still have gross fats in stock? We have ten insect meat fats in stock. I'm watching Samantha. I want to see if she is going to be able to eat. Starving. I don't think we have any food for her. Did we ever finish that research for the, um... The ration? To unlock this. What do you mean to unlock the recipe? I just researched it. Collect tasty meals. I do not have time for this. So I need... Okay. So I need two meat stews. Hi. And then I can make a ration high. that she might eat. Apocalypse outside, perfect time for coffee. Exactly. Jan Chucks Gaming, welcome back, my friend. Thank you. All right, let's see. Let's see what happens here. It's past my bedtime, Chad. I'm just like so fixated on keeping Samantha alive right now. Oh, she has to go back outside for another ingredient. So, here's the hope. She makes the meat stew, she turns it into an emergency ration, then she forgets that it was meat in it, and then she's willing to eat the emergency ration. And I also have to tell everyone else to not eat the meat stew, or else it would go into someone else's belly. Ken looked outside, got happier, and was like, I need a drink, and then came back inside to get drunk. Samantha playing handpan. No, you're not. Wow. 
What? What are you doing? What do you mean? Wait, what? What do you mean device is working? Oh, it part of the cooking. Oh, wait, oh, it's stew. Oh, God, I didn't think they had that level of realism. So she has to stand there and cook for a while and then walk around, walk away, and it finishes itself. Emergency ration two. Cook emergency ration. Please, no one else touch the stew. You know, there were 600 bugs earlier. There's 260 of them now. Man, I really wish Samantha wasn't the only one with cooking skill level 3. She's the only one that could do this. I would really like to fool her. Um, okay, we need to... We're gonna tell everyone else, do not eat tasty meals, as weird as that is. Um... I'd also rather they not eat the emergency rations. I don't see an option to stop that, though. I'm glad I got lasers, chat. I, I like this. Just pew, 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 pew. The pinpoint accuracy. Just going nuts constantly. Wait. Wait, did you make it? What happened? Oh, is it cooking itself again? Okay. Samantha? It works. There's an eat emergency rations option. Eat. Actually, it said getting glitter caps. I think a few glitter caps reached harvest. Where can I buy that oven? <laughs> Apocalypse now. Okay, please finish eating that before you die at the table. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm just staring at Samantha right now. Is that success? We did it. Okay. <laughs> so once it becomes a ration, she no longer remembers what went into it, even if she herself cooked it. She took bug meat and was like, no, I'm a vegetarian, I'd rather die. She put it into meat stew and was like, no, I'm a vegetarian, I'd rather die. And she put it into a ration, and then she's like, oh, thank God, someone found rations. And then she, <laughs> she ate the bug meat. <laughs> it worked. It freaking worked. Selective? No, it's just like, idiotic. Cause like she, it's like she'd rather die. She will kill herself. She she'd rather die than eat it. But then she like forgot what went into it in the cooking process. Um, pulse rifles or railgun snipers? I think we need more pulse. I think we need pulse more pulse rifles. Okay, save game. Dude, this is like the third time we've had a session of this. And I, I really enjoyed it, and I'm hoping you guys did too, because there was so many reloads. There was so many reloads. Like, oh my god. It'd be like, oh, I forgot one square on the back fence. Dead. Or like, oh, it's flyers. Dead 20 times till I figure out a way to cheese it. Uh, not even cheese it. It's just like, dead 20 times till I find a way to stand everyone just right that they can kill enough before they die. Oh, man. Alright, and we will pick up there next time.